Now more than ever, teams must come together and work together to solve big challenges. And Trello is here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format, plus tons of features that make working with your team functional and fun. With Trello, you can work with your team wherever you are, whether it's at home or in an office. Keep your workflow going from wherever you are with Trello. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Got wood if you're with me. It's Silver and Black Today on CBS Sports Radio 1140. And now, here's your host, Scott Gobranson. Welcome back to the Silver and Black today here on CBS Sports Radio 1140. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday. You kind of have no choice, right? You're stuck at home and you want to listen and talk Raiders football. Where else are you going to go, right? Uh, You can go on message boards. You can do whatever you want. But we roll on as we bring you um, Las Vegas' only and longest running now. Raiders talk show and yeah. we're excited to be joined again um, by one of the guys we talk a lot about on this show because we we had such a great and outstanding first season with the Raiders and that of course is wide receiver Hunter Renfro and Hunter joins us from his secret location wherever he may be Hunter how you doing man good yeah just hanging out here in, in South Carolina so staying away from everyone <laughs> yeah, which is tough, I know, but being a football. What, so, what do you tell me? What are you doing to pass? I mean, I got to ask you this question, right? We're all stuck at home. What are you doing to pass the time? Uh, I'm sure you're working out and everything's trying to stay in shape, getting ready for when when things do pick up back to normal. What else are you doing to occupy the time? Um, playing some video games. I, me and my wife, bought some land here in South Carolina, so we have about 30 acres, and so I think I spent eight hours yesterday mowing the grass. <laughs> um, and I've just been doing little jobs, and um, it, it's really been a good time. I know it's it's been a it's been tough, and it's definitely not something you would uh, pick. And you say, all right, but but I want this to happen to be staying at home and and the virus and all that. But um, trying to find the good in all of it, uh, it's been good just to be home with my wife and and really just get some some good workout times and and uh, and and just run in the yard, whatever it may be. Well, yeah, and, and again, for, for you, too, coming out of a, a big program, winning a national championship at Clemson, all the work, you know, I think a lot of folks who watch college football, pro football, don't realize how it, it is a year-round thing. You don't stop. You're constantly training. You're doing something. So to actually have some downtime uh, must be interesting. And I know, you know, you're obviously um, um, home playing video games, like you said. How are you keeping in touch with your teammates? Is, is it through video games? Are you just kind of texting each other? You hang, what are you doing? Yeah. A little of everything. Um, I'm texting some of them, um, calling some of them, uh, playing video games with some of them. Uh, so it's 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 really um, it's such a unique time. Um, but yeah, we've been able to keep touch a little bit and um, kind of as we're working out, we're texting each other. Like, when are you starting? How how's your workouts going? And kind of just going from there and keeping up because uh, I know we're supposed to start OTAs in like two weeks, and obviously that's not going to happen. But <laughs> Um, yeah. We're still keeping up and, and pushing each other. Well, Hunter, when I saw you out here in Las Vegas, which was your first trip here uh, when we were out at Rancho High School together for that great event that you did, yeah. Um, yeah. When, when when you were out here and we were talking about uh, your relationship with your quarterback, with Derek Carr, and that you guys, you actually play video games together quite a bit as well, and you're connected with him as well. For you as a wide receiver coming into the league, you have this veteran quarterback who's there, who's been through a lot of the battles. Um, you're new to it all. You guys had that instant connection. How is that? Talk about how that impacts you both on the field and off the field, being that close with your quarterback. I know that's not the relationship with every wide receiver and quarterback, but you guys have really forged a bond, have you not? Yeah. So, um, I, I mean, it goes back to um, college. I remember uh, whenever – when Derek signed his contract, I remember I was probably a freshman or sophomore, and I watched a video of him saying, all right, um, just because I have all this money now doesn't mean I'm, I'm still going to tithe. I'm still going to um, – it really is just an opportunity for me to help more people. And so I've been a big fan of his since then. And uh, someone that I was like – when I got drafted to the Raiders, I was like, I get to play with Derek Carr. I mean, I know he's a great player, but the type of person he is is special. And so it was cool to kind of – go down that and then as the season went along we just, we played some Fortnite together or whatnot and it really helped us um chemistry wise i remember after the lions game this year uh i mean that was like the first thing we talked about whenever we 
we, we won it, and we were like, all right, well, how are we going to celebrate? Uh, let's maybe go run a game or two on Fortnite tonight. And so um, it's good to have that chemistry. And, and I mean, we're humans too, right? Um, so we, uh, I mean, it's part of the team. We're, we're out there in the field playing as a team, and then we got a fourth home car squad that we go and, and play a team on Fortnite. So it's a lot of fun. That's awesome. Yeah, the camaraderie, that, that's huge for chemistry and everything. Again, we're talking to Raiders wide receiver Hunter Renfro. Hey, Hunter, it's Chaz. What, what things did the coaches hey. tell you to work on in the offseason, and, and what are you doing personally to improve your game? Yeah, I'm a lot. Um, I, I think one thing that I need to do better is uh, just be more durable. Um, I, I've, I've been fairly durable in my career at Clemson, and um, but – uh, you can't win. You can't help win games if you're not on the field. And and unfortunately, last year I got hurt a few games. And so uh, maybe if I use a little better technique, I'm um, catching the ball, then I wouldn't have exposed my ribs. Or maybe if I had a little more meat on my bones, I wouldn't have exposed them. But um, maybe a little better understanding of defense. Because um, it was it was kind of my fault. I kind of drifted into the guy, and 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 Derek had nowhere to throw it. So um, it was it was definitely on me. I can change some things that in that stance but um really i mean punt returning is a big thing for me um just being more consistent being better a student of the game and be more understanding of what we're trying to do because i've been in it a year now and so um just trying to help the new guys along and and go and try to win as many games possible hey hunter it's kelly here got a question for you Third and five, game on the line. What's the one play call you want to hear come out of that huddle? <laughs> uh, I mean, for me, you'd like you'd like to get the ball right, um, but honestly, I mean, Josh is a pretty good back. You got Darren Waller, a pretty good player. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we can take advantage of a mismatch from week to week. But um, I mean, I like I like the choice route. Um, it's something we really didn't do in college. Uh, this was really my first year actually doing it, and it just opens up a lot of possibilities. You can go in, out, sit down. Um, especially it helps when you have guys like Tyrell and um, now Nelson Aguilar and uh, all the weapons we have uh, to take the top off the coverage and kind of get some double teams and, and maybe get me one-on-one. So, um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to a quarterback draw, too. Derek can run it a little bit. <laughs> I love it. Again, we're talking to third and Renfro. Hunter Renfro, Raiders wide receiver, joins us. And Hunter, you know, this offseason, uh, the free agency period started. You guys needed a lot of help on defense. And boy, did uh, Mike Mayock and Coach Gruden deliver on that. They signed some great guys. And and even though you're on the offense, of course, nothing helps an offense like a, 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 better, a great and better defense. Uh, how excited were you to see some of the moves that the team has made before you guys get back on the field? Yeah, I mean... It's like Christmas. I mean, I've never been a part of a, a free agency before. I mean, we we have recruiting classes in college, but uh, it's it's interesting. And and talking to some of my teammates, it's funny. Uh, talk, talking to some of my former Clemson teammates that are now in the NFL. I mean, every team thinks they have the best free agents. It's like every team is like, all right, we have the best free agency possible. Um, so, but I feel like we really did. I mean, we had some great guys come in, especially on defense, um, and and even Mariota quarterback. Um, just a really good group of guys, and and so um, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, we don't have OTAs, but it'll be interesting to see how everything plays out and, and how we can come together as a team. Well, and Hunter, when you look at the offense, right, you guys you guys had a great year last year. You're starting to put things together. You had a lot of new pieces, and that takes time, and you saw as time at, at spots you guys really were clicking. Um, but you need help too, right? So we, we, we've heard all off season that a focus most likely we don't know for sure because we're not inside coach Gruden's head or Mike Mayock's head, but we hear that, you know, first round with the wide receiver class coming out that uh, Raiders most likely going to get you some help and maybe a, a teammate uh, to play alongside you. When you look at these young wide receivers, I know you are too, and you just got out a year ago, but when you look at Judy, when you look at rugs, when you look at CD lamb out of Oklahoma, what are you thinking when you see these guys and what they might be able to do uh, lining up next to you in that huddle next year? Yeah. Um, T Higgins is another one. Yeah. Out of Clemson. Yes. Um, he's pretty Gotta good. Gotta get that Clemson but, mention in, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I mean, I'm excited. Anything that can help our team win, um, somebody's going to get them right. So might as well yep. be us. Uh, I, I feel like um, 
it'll, it'll be interesting because a lot of people forget, like, none of us were here, like Josh, me, Darren Waller, Tyrell, none of us played with Derek. Um, this was our first year. And so I think it's huge for us to have this off season and have a whole year in the system. Um, and, and, and then it's going to be interesting as well to see how this progresses with OTAs, where a new guy is coming in and um, may not have that much time to get prepared for the season. Um, it will be on us and Tyrell and all the guys that kind of take them under our wing and, and teach them as much as we know. Yeah, and Hunter, one of the guys, too, that came in as part of this free agent class, and this comes from one of our viewers on YouTube, Wendy Pierre. Wendy asked, have you talked to Jason Witten yet? And, and, and even if you haven't, talk about having a guy like that with that experience now. <laughs> you, guys, you guys have great tight ends already, right? You have Foster there, of yeah. course, Darren Waller. So, so you have great guys there. It adds a lot more depth. But his experience, what he's been through, how's that going to be for you guys? Yeah, I'm looking at him like, how many – how many great tight ends are we going to get? I mean, we might go 22 personnel every time. Uh, I mean, but I, he's another guy that I've always respected. I, I remember watching him retire, I think, the first time and talking about how um, he's running a choice route and he's talking about how uh, uh, it's not me that makes this play great. It's the offensive line. It's, it's the right tackle picking up the blitz. It's the running back being a, a check down. And, and, and so just learning from a guy like that, and the type of leader he is and the type of person he is. Um, I mean, I couldn't be more thrilled. I texted three of my buddies. Like, I couldn't believe that I was going to be able to play with him. Yeah, now, and now, have you gotten the wife to start to help you look for places out here yet? Because I know now we, none of us can travel right now. We have to stay where we are. But yeah. uh, you guys looking forward to getting out here and, and getting used to this dry heat we got? Yeah, I mean, I, I like you said, that was my first time to Vegas a few uh, about a month ago, a few weeks ago. Um, I'm excited. Uh, we really are. We I didn't know really what to expect because my perception is a strip and all that. And, sure. and I don't really go out much and party or anything like that. So I wasn't really sure. But once I got there and kind of saw what it was about and, and saw kind of the the uh, the suburbs, um, it's beautiful. Seeing the mountains in the background, the golf courses, you can go skiing in 45. I mean, it's unbelievable what you have in Vegas. And uh, I'm so excited to get down there and, and get a place and just kind of kind of dive into the community. Well, and I got to share the story when we when we when we met at Rancho High School, you had asked me about you know good places to golf, uh, and if they were private courses or public courses, mm-hmm. and and I said to you, I said you're Hunter Renfro, you're on the Raiders, you're going to be able to golf wherever you want. So so <laughs> I think that'll hold true. And make sure you play Shadow Creek. You got to do that. Live flamingos okay. going around. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna have fun. <laughs> That's gonna be ball. I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. All right, Hunter Renfro, listen, thank you so much for giving us your time today. We'll talk to you later down the road. Can't wait to get you out here. And my best to you and the family. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Thanks, All right, there you, there you have it, Hunter Renfro, Raiders wide receiver. Appreciate him joining us. We're going to step aside when we come back. Our senior NFL columnist and a contributor over at Bleacher Report, who's been very, very busy lately, Mo Moten, will join us. We'll talk about how the free agency class, class excuse me, impacts the Raiders and what they might do in the draft. You're listening to the Silver and Black today here on CBS Sports Radio 1140.